That's all right. Still a fantastic matchup. 12 versus 18 in the seedings. Uh, as far as the PB leaderboard, these are a pair of sub-sixers. Uh, Ladab 23rd on the leaderboard with a 549.69. Very nicely done. And Sigma Fan with a uh, is 12th seeded and 12th overall on the leaderboard with a 532.26 PB. And Sigma fan promoting Watch Game Show Gumbo on YouTube. Of course, that is her channel that talks about game shows and whatnot, formerly known as Game Show Garbage. So uh, that's definitely a channel that I've watched quite a bit a few times uh, during my time at work. And of course, Ladab and Sigma fan are going to put on together quite a good show. I just got a good feeling in my bones. I am right there in agreement with you on that one. All righty here. So... Can't wait to see what happens here. So this is, again, the second round of the second chance matchup. The winner will move on to the third round of the second chance matchup where they will take on either the number 10 seed, Skunky48, or the number 20 seed, Scotty. Here we go. Certainly should be good. And uh, also of note, make sure to stick around here on GG Speedruns after this matchup is done as uh, there's more action here. We have the winner's final for The Messenger following Smash TV here. It's going to be Grandius versus Belial. Uh, it's right here on GG Speedruns. It's The Messenger winner's final. Yep, definitely buy that for a dollar. Should be a good one as well. And looking pretty good here heading into Collect Power Ups. Oh, dang. That's a huge matchup there for The Messenger because the winner moves on to the grand finals of that tournament. So, yeah, that's a big one. So, yep, stick around. The Super Smash TV coverage might be done after this, but not the speedrunning tournaments in general. That Messenger coming up following most of these GG speedrun stations. I had to do that. Ah, very well <laughs> All right, Sigma Fan gets the first orb here in Collect Power Ups. Ladab gets a nuke, has a little bit of Razor Shield left to go here. So right now, I'd have to say the advantage right now goes to Sigma Fan, and indeed it does with the power of that orb. Ladab not all that far back. 125 plays 127. Two seconds back of Sigma Fan, but he's going to be fishing for an orb. Sigma fan trying to keep that orb nice and healthy, and she's doing a really good job. But Ladab, a little problem with that swirl there, but is able to stay alive here and eat my shrapnel. 18 of the Mr. Shrapnels that we have to take down, four of them maximum can be on the screen at any given point. When that happens, that's when you start to bleed time. And right now, even though Sigma fan's got the orb there, that spreader should help a little bit. Most certainly should. Ladab's still looking. Finds a foot that'll increase the walking speed, but that's uh, about all it does. Yep, 207. Yeah, just having no orb. Ladab, not only is he bleeding time, he still has no orb. He's about five and a half seconds back. And look at that opening drop for Sigma Fan. It's a razor shield. That's huge. Rockets to go with it, too. The Trinity. And Ladav gets an orb. He needed to see that. He gets now a razor shield and somehow gets back to the middle of the room. Does he complete the Trinity? No, he'll get a nuke. Right now, both runners have this room under control. It's really going to come down to who has better quality weapons here because, you know, you've got the orb. You do have the razor shield. It'd be nice to have weapons to go with it. You don't necessarily have to have weapons. You just have to have good firing lanes and Sigma loses the orb. Oh, that purple uh, foot soldier just swinging around right around that 132 o'clock range. And, well, Sigma going to have a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, you can but see, Ladab yeah, yeah. cannot take advantage of the mistake from Sigma Fan as he drops the orb right at the last second. He is 10 seconds back, and neither one of them have an orb or a weapon. Oh, man. Th those purple foot soldiers are just really giving our runners the business today. Yeah, they most certainly are, as the purple so soldiers are the one that move faster than the green soldiers. As we go into tank trouble, what's the first drop going to be? A foot. Not really, and Sigma taking the intentional. I think it had to be intentional. Had to be. Yeah, just looking to spawn a better drop here and now able to utilize the uh, free time takes out the gunners on the walls and now just has to deal with this annoying tank. 
Oh, and Ladav gets picked off as well. Yeah, the Rockets are definitely going to help Sigma Fan continue to keep that lead. Grenades now. Sigma Fan might be fishing for a better weapon and does with the Rockets. Not in the greatest of spots because, yeah, good good grab there by Sigma. Meanwhile, Ladav gets a spreader right in the middle of the room, so that'll help a little bit. But more Rockets now for Sigma Fan. Yeah, she's definitely going to keep that lead. So despite the fact that she has got no orb, now she gets an orb late here. A chance to do the ball buster. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what you want. Beautifully done here for Sigma Fan. A 427. But Ladav gets a late orb of his own with the razor shield great manifestation from the commentary booth on that one cards oh no question about it here that's going to keep ladab afloat he's going to be down by 15 seconds 442 sigma fan trying to get the ball buster no no just a bit outside tried right. the corner and missed yeah didn't miss by much but did not get the ball buster so here's an opportunity maybe for ladab to get the ball buster oh but the pickoff job by the swirl just wow what a late swirl entry into the room and yeah just uh just a pearl harbor job there on ladab by the swirl yeah, and that tends to happen when you have grenades as the first drop in that room. I'm sure Bryce off will uh, chime in and chat on how that happens, but I, I think that happens when it's a grenade. Yep, nades, right. Right you are, cards. And that's a good Jeff Edwards reference. All right, so right now, Sigma Fan's got both arms popped off, and Ladav has the first arm popped off, so Sigma Fan currently has the lead, but now has a chance to widen that considerably. Good spreader location. Just parking right on in there and not even worrying about the next drop because it's an empty drop of the key. Wow, and look at all the manual floor. damage. The manual damage. Mutoy Man was just in the perfect location for Sigma Fan. She's going to cruise to victory here. Just needs to get this. Wow, but the, hey, does just enough rockets to finish the job. Sigma fan's going to win game number one. Wow. What a Mutoid Man fight. Uses the invulnerability to take out the last shrapnel. This is going to be a nice six. Uh, hit it a little early. We'll say 618. Yep. It, it, it could. Yep. The, 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 the split might have something to do with the stream fee because I know. Once upon a time, Aquas had that uh, situation on his stream, so it, it might have to do with lag or something like that. But to me, the times are pretty much inconsequential. If it's a PB or if it's like a photo finish, then that's another story altogether. But no matter how you slice it, good run there from Sigma Fan. She'll take game number one. Absolutely. Ladab now just looking for some weapons to finish off the final form here of Mutoid Man. And the lobber train Not doesn't enough. quite get it done. They're going to have to get, I'll bet it's like five shots tops. Yep, there yep. you go. <laughs> Just right on there. So Ladab will finish off the fight, and Ladab cannot be pleased about a 722, a runner of his caliber, you know, who's got a good... PB that's in the fives, you know, you're gonna you're looking at like 630 or less or caliber like him. So I think Ladab, he can shake off this run. He'll try again in game number two. But yeah, Sigma fan, you know, did lose the orb in in, 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 in that one spot. But you know, other than that, you know, she played a really, really good race, had a really good Mutoid Man fight as well. So uh definitely gonna have to step up as Ladab in game number two. Yep, extremely solid. Uh what isn't solid, though, is uh, some delicious gumbo, and uh, you can certainly check out some game show gumbo on YouTube hosted by Sigma Fan. Yep, and Mark Power also hosts the uh, Games of Canada. So if you're a fan of Canadian game shows, whether it's English Canadian or French Canadian, we've got that on Game Show Gumbo as well. Just watch out for those pitfalls. Oh, yes. Uh, that's been a show that's been discussed on that channel before. Yes, the one and only game show that stiffed Alex Trebek from his paycheck because the syndicator went bankrupt. But that's another story for another time. Let's get to game number two, shall we? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
All right, so both of the runners have the razor shield manipulations here. Yep, Bumper Stumpers is also a show that was both in Canada and the United States on the USA Network. Underrated game show, in my opinion. Yeah, it was one of my favorites when it was on the USA uh, afternoon block as a, an elementary school kid coming home. All right, and coming out of this room, they are dead even. Dead even going in to collect power-ups. Gotta love the dead heat here. All right, so let's see what the drops are going to be for Sigma and Ladab. Ladab trying to equalize. Sigma fan trying to take a commanding two games to nothing lead. They both get a foot back-to-back -back feed for Sigma fan. Razor shield for Ladab, but the orb. First one goes to Sigma. Yeah, no, they want blue orbs game, not the green ones that you call grenades. <laughs> yes, the potatoes. Didn't we used to call them the potatoes at one point, the green potatoes? <laughs> Somebody back me up on that today. claim. I, I, I can't quite recall, but yeah. The, a potato because it kind of leaves you feeling like a, a sad sack when uh, when you have to use them. All right, rockets for Sigma to start the room. Takes care of the swirl. Nice shot there. More rockets waiting for Sigma. There, we're going to pick that up. But Ab still does not have an orb, though, and he's really going to need to find one soon, or he could be in some big, big trouble. And having nothing to work with as well, just nothing but a foot. Okay, the Razor Shield's going to help a little bit, but not when you're just slinging potatoes, as uh, Ladav has done in the early part of this room. Yeah, no question about it here. As Sigma, that's a late Razor Shield. Maybe might utilize it for the last one, but the spawn didn't favor that, so that's the end of the room for Sigma 209. Ladav is at 213, about a four-second deficit, and he still does not have an orb. The longer he goes without an orb, he could be 20 plus seconds back. He needs an orb or he needs weapons that are going to help him carry him through this room. That rocket's definitely going to help. Because right now, Sigma's not really gotten anything to complement that orb here to start Total Carnage. Getting nades, no spreaders, no rockets, no razor shield, nothing. So Ladab might be able to stay afloat. There's what Sigma needed, the vitamin R. And gets sabotaged by some grenades. Follow that up with a spreader. Spreader now rockets for Ladab. So the quality of weapons is keeping Ladab afloat, but he is still orbless here in game number two. This carnage room has just uh, hasn't exactly been ideal for either runner, but no, it's going to be a first out of it with a three high three oh nine. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, Ladab is still in the running because the weapon quality kept him afloat. He's only seven seconds back, despite the fact he's still not seen an orb in this game. Not too shabby at all, but tank trouble. It's not the ultimate equalizer, but. Uh, Man, does it equalize some problems. Oh, it most certainly does. And Sigma fan could use a good first drop here. Nuke is fine. That'll enable her to take down the first gunner. Maybe a little bit of the second. Not quite all. First drop said, dude, though, for Ladav. And, and a razor shield for Sigma right on the feet. This is definitely where you want to be in Sigma shoes. Ladav getting clubbed down. Gets the orb. But good it grab. No lean. It was about to disappear. All right, gets the spreader, but yeah, the problem is, okay, the first gunner is down for Ladab. Can he take down the second gunner and keep that orb intact? Sigma fan keep doing a good job, keep control of the middle with that razor shield. Only a little bit of it left to go. Could use another weapon, you know, to complement that orb, but she doesn't need it. She's going to finish off that room. Very nicely done there for Sigma fan, keeping the lead A 424. Rockets for Ladab. It's definitely still in the running, that is for sure. Will the spreader be enough to finish off the room? Yes, it will be. Just has to finish off the shrapnels here, and it is going to be a 14-second deficit for Ladab. Sigma, trying for the manuals. <laughs> I don't think you could get a sideways ball buster there. She tried. <laughs> oh, nothing beats a failure but a try, as Papa Burgundy used to say. All right, a spreader going to have to be manual again for Sigma unless she sees in her vulnerability. Instead, it's rockets. Getting a few manual shots in there. Going to switch it up to the rockets now as they're about to disappear. More safer shot here. Lobbers now for Ladab. 
Right in the lobber train here. That first arm should be popping off shortly. And there it goes for Ladab. Both arms are popped off for Sigma fans. So it's more than a full form lead, but an empty drop there for Sigma. Another empty drop for Sigma is going to give Ladab a chance to catch up. There goes the second arm. Yeah, it is. A, it's still a Sigma fan lead, but it is definitely shrunk. It's tied. Just that quickly. Wow. Grenades for both now. Rockets now. We're seeing some ugly drops for both riders. They both have rockets. There's a nice player two spreader for Sigma fan, and she's now on the penultimate form. If she gets in her vulnerability, this is going to be game. Final four. Good manuals there from Sigma fan, I must say. Yep, there's the head popping off for Ladab, but yeah, spreader needed. Uh -oh. But here's the spreader, and, and uh, Ladab is not going to take another empty drop for Sigma. She's getting sabotaged. Finally does get a lobber. It's now final form. This is anybody's game, but Ladab's not going to get those rockets. He needs a drop soon. And it's an invulnerability. Oh, 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 that's going to do it, I think. I yep. think so, too. Sigma should wrap this up with these rockets. Should wrap them up with these rockets. And does. Oh, man, what a game between Sigma and Ladab. But it is going to be Sigma fan who prevails and takes a commanding two games to nothing lead. One win away from moving on to the third round of the second chance. Oh, get that other shrapnel. Get that other shrapnel, Ladab. Well, he's not going to get it. Instead, of, well, he probably he probably he probably knows he's lost. That's probably why he didn't go after it. 704. I figure I just like the close fin. <laughs> right, a little bit closer. Yeah, Ladab shaking his head, not happy about his performance, but Sigma fan right now has been playing very well, very consistently. Maybe not the best Mutoid Man fight that time around, but she did enough. She did what she needed to do to get that second win and now has three shots to take this match. Let's see if Ladab can dig deep and get back into this match or if Sigma fan can bring out the broom and move on to the third round of the second chance bracket. And whoever advances here will take on the winner of Scotty and Skunky48, the 20 versus 10 seed matchup. Yet to be scheduled, but we're looking forward to bringing that to you, I would imagine, sometime this week here on GG Speedruns. No question about it here. All right, game number three coming up very shortly between Ladab and Sigma Fan. Ladab's back firmly against the wall now. Sigma Fan currently in the catbird seat, but... This is Super Smash TV. Anything is possible. We already saw a reverse sweep earlier in this tournament with Tetsuo making that happen. It could happen again. You never know. Crazy things have happened in the tournament. We, You can certainly attest to that, having called all of them. So I, I wouldn't put anything past uh, just about anybody here. It is true that I've been involved in every year of the Super Smash TV tournament, but I'll tell you what, if you if you really quizzed me on the fourth annual tournament, I probably couldn't give you any kind of answers because that was the tournament, you know, when the pandemic started and my internet was really on the fritz, so I only called like a handful of matches in that particular tournament. Luckily, that kind of situation hasn't happened since, and I'm very blessed about that. Yeah, I think that was around the time that Bryceloff asked if I could hop onto th things, and yep. uh, much to his detriment, I agreed. Well, Ladab is going to get the whole shot here in game number three. Anything to, you know, give him some kind of momentum. A 41 and a half versus a 42 and a quarter. We're talking about a three quarters of a second lead for Ladab. Anything to get him any kind of momentum here. So let's see what the first drop is going to be in collect power ups. It's a rocket for Sigma fan and vulnerability for Ladab. So once again, advantage to the leader here. Sigma fan getting the better drops early on. Spreader now for Ladab. Sigma fan using the last of these rockets here before getting an invulnerability, which will enable her to shred through enemies if she wants to go that route. Gonna use the nuke to take down the Mr. Shrapnel. Spreader now for Ladab. No orb for either player. And right as I say that, Bergs, Sigma gets the first orb, but Ladab right there. 
Well, thank you, game. Better late than never when it comes to the orb drops. Right, 125 plays a 131. Sigma fan currently with a six-second lead. Takes down the swirl, no problem at all. Now needs to keep the Mr. Shrapnels out of, under control. Ladab picks off the swirl and is keeping the Mr. Shrapnels under control, too. So you would think that six-second lead will continue, provided that they both can keep that orb nice and healthy. Now that razor shield will certainly help on Ladab's side. Oh, absolutely. You know, he'll take care of the foot soldiers, and he can use one on one of the uh, Mr. Shrapnels just like right there. Perfect. Sigma fan still in the lead with a 208. Ladab finishing up the room with a 213. He gained a little bit of time at the end of that room. A little bit of a cleaner finish than Sigma Fan, but look at this. Sigma Fan, the first drop razor shield here. Ken can take control of the middle. Ladab getting nothing so far. A spreader, that'll help a little bit, but uh, only a little as that is uh, short and fleeting. Yeah, the uh, the thing with the spreader is it's an, it's a nice weapon and all, but when you have the orb, it, it is done in seconds. Now he gets a razor shield as well, so he'll be able to keep control of the middle of the room too. So it's going to be who gets the better quality weapon drop, who has the better firing lanes, because they both have that razor shield. Rockets on the feet there for Sigma. This should close out the room for her, at least very close. There it is. 302 for Sigma fan. Nice nuke there for Ladab. Just has a little bit of this room left to go, and he is right there with a 310. Eight seconds is the deficit. No weapon for either player. It's time for, oh, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Product placement with Taco Bell. Makes me hungry every time. Doesn't it? All righty here. So eight seconds is the lead Sigma fan has to work with. Starts with a nuke, but it's in a bad spot, and she takes a death. Two, the tanks up there. Chance for Ladab here. Spreaders, but in a horrific spot. Gets it anyway. Very nice. He's able to get that one gunner off the board. Rockets for Sigma Fan will take care of the gunners on her side. Ladab needs, has just finished off the second wall gunner. But Ladab struggling to get the room back under control. Sigma still searching for weapons or an orb. Gets more rockets. I'm really getting nothing to compliment that orb. He's getting the TTTT. And Sigma fan, despite the fact that she dropped her orb, still has the lead with a 421. Good, better quality weapon drops. Despite the fact that Ladav has kept the orb the entire room, better quality weapon drops and probably better firing lanes as well. So... Ladab now 14 seconds back. I mean, still in the running, but this is do or die for Ladab. If he does not win, it's over. Well, if that would have been an invulnerability, that would have been perfect. Instead, it's Ladab who gets it. Oh, boy. Sigma now waiting for the next drop. Possibly parked on there by Mutoid Mother Hen, and there's a delayed grenade. Well, then this could be good news for Ladab here because, again, he needs this to stay in the tournament as the first arm pops off on both sides. Nice grab of the rockets there from Ladab because he would not have gotten it if he'd taken a death there. No chance. Better quality weapon drops now for Ladab. Sigma's still waiting for a weapon. There's the spreader. Better late than never. This could give Sigma fan a chance to even this out again as the second arm pops off for Ladab. Second arm pops off for Sigma Fan. She gets run over. Will she get to the lobber? Yes, she will. It was close enough to the door. They are even. Rockets on the feet for Ladab. Sigma continuing to ride the lobbers. She is taking the lead back. Ladab's right there. They're both riding the lobber train. As Sigma Fan runs out of lobber, she gets a refill. Ladab gets a refill of his own, and another refill is waiting for him. Sigma fans on the penultimate form. Ladab's on the penultimate form. Oh, this is going to be so close. Ladab needs to see a spreader, in my opinion, to assure a game number four. Final form now for Sigma. Spreader coming too late. It was in a bad spot anyways. But things looking good here for Sigma fan to make it to the next round of the tournament. These lobbers should do it. Final form for Ladab. If Sigma lands all of these lobbers, she is moving on to the next round and does. And does. 
And unfortunately, that is the end of the tournament for Ladab, who is going to be the first casualty here in the second round of the second chance bracket. A 634 for Sigma fan. Ladab going to be right behind by about 10 seconds or so. 11 seconds is the difference. Sigma fan sweeps it three games to nil and will move on to the third round of the second chance bracket. And unfortunately, that means we have to say goodbye to Ladab in the tournament. We're down to our final 23, Burgundy.